Well, what's happening YouTube? KP Tutorial 15. Let's make our target dictionary so that we can store all our uh, all our targets information. First of all, we need to import the RE module, okay? Because we're going to be using it uh, a bit later. And let's define our target dictionary with a, another inventive name: target D equals curly brackets. Okay, and we just add a comment here just so we know what's going on. And we need to change the prefix of that, not to self, but to MITM S1 so that we can access it from the second screen. Okay, which we're going to do in a minute. Let's just finish this comment up. All right, and the reason I'm doing this is because um, basically. Um, being able to tell the difference between certain nodes, uh, the method we're doing it by is not the greatest at the moment, so that's why I'm just going to change all this. So obviously we need to pass the dictionary as an argument into the thread, which we do like this, mitms1.target, d, okay. And if we come down here, we're going to be changing this um, slightly as well. Let's just finish up uh, passing the argument to the thread, to the op scan. Okay, I've got a lot going on at the moment, guys. Uh, this tutorial should have come out a couple of days earlier, but uh, I've got a lot of projects going on at the moment. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to um, take the dictionary that we've just declared, okay, and input the IP, the MAC, and also the host name of the scanned node on our LAN. And I just um, I just did a tutorial as well, a very short one. I think it was like three minutes on dictionaries, just in case uh, you're not you don't know what dictionary is or whatever. Just look it up. Okay. And study. Studying is your friend. Sometimes. So we want. So basically, the art response dot piece is the key. So the IP is going to be the key. Um, we're going to use the IP, the MAC, and the host name. Now we've. Um, prefix this with mitms1.hostname so from now on we're gonna have to replace every instance of hostname with the same prefix okay otherwise bad things will happen all right because we need to we're gonna have to be able to access this from um, within the thread and within um, screen 2 okay so that's why we're doing that so just make sure every instance of host name is prefixed with mitms1 otherwise your program will crash and your computer will catch fire there'll be fire engines around and no i'm just kidding anyway so now uh we can index the inputs we've just made and created like so we just do MITMS1, our dictionary, and we just use the indexes. So for the host name, it's going to be 2. So we just reference the key, which is the IP. Okay. And then we just index it like you do with a list or any other. Um, any other data structure okay so let's try that it's probably going to crash for some reason let's have a look run the threads and what's all that red stuff up there we're going to find out in a minute right so blah, blah, blah. and it looks like I've missed out a full stop somewhere 
Let's have a look. See, if something as small as that can cause you grief. A spec. MIT MS1 dot host name. That should be better. Now we've only done the Android node, so obviously it's not going to pick up any other nodes, and if it does, it's probably going to crash anyway. So we have to replace um, all the other nodes with the same code referencing the dictionary. Okay, so there we go. There's the Android node. Um, got the name, host name. So obviously we haven't prefixed it somewhere. Okay. And that looks right. Now I'm going to put the code for this tutorial and the next tutorial in the next tutorial. So it's going to be in the description of the next tutorial, not this one, because the next one um, we're going to be doing a port scan. All right, but if you just follow here, we've got um, mitms1.artresponse. And we index the IP, which is zero. All right, and then we want the Mac, so it's basically exactly the same thing. But the Mac would be item one. And of course it's target D, not art response. For those of you who are following along with me, um, do not do what I just did. And I've just got to go back up there and just change this as well. So it's MIT MS1 dot the dictionary, then the key, which would be art response PSRC. Okay. And That looks okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to paste at super speed. And we just um, replace nodes with the windows, windows, and this one's gateway Linux. Okay. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm currently trying to make my first. It's not a short movie. I want to say it's a short movie. It's probably like a short video thing. But I'm actually trying to make the sound track for it. At the moment, I'm trying to make a drum bass tune to be in the background. Um, right, what have we got here? Intention error. Yes. So we're meant to put elifs. Let's put elifs. Yeah, so I'm trying to make the sound track. I was going to use a um, an existing drum bass tune or you know, existing music, but uh, I've sort of got it into my head that I want to want to try and make the music myself. So uh, that's another thing to the list. But I'm still going to be doing these tutorials. And uh, the next one coming up is going to be the port scan. Right, so if we run that. And we run the land scan. Okay, and we run that, and that's fine. Okay, so we can go back to the first screen, <coughs> and all's well. Right, what we need to do now is the reason that we imported RE is not for religious education. But you'll know it as regex. Also, pen test skills uh, made a video about this. Um, regular expressions. So for I in M I T M S one dictionary. Okay, in the dictionary, well, um, the reason I did this was because my uh, router's got the IP one nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot two five four. Okay, I and I also have um, an Apple computer here, uh, which had the IP.2. Okay, 
Now, I was asking it if it's in the list or in our target, and of course, both of them are. Dot two is R. So, what I'm actually doing here is I'm asking um, if the IP, the exact IP, no more, no less, is in the uh, the text of the button. Okay, which is more accurate. Okay, I'm asking if the exact IP is in there. So it's gonna it's gonna give me back the exact same um, Mac, the IP and host name and whatever else. Um, I want to look up okay so that's the reason we're doing this right so if we come back down here we have so if re.find all uh, backslash slash sb and then for i in and then the text will equal Let's format it. Zero zero F. So the label is going to have the IP. Okay, and these are uh, squiggly brackets here. You should know by now it's just a placeholder at the moment because we're going to dot format we're going to format MRTMS1 target D and then I so the IP and then we're going to index the first item which is the IP right and we do exactly the same for the Mac and the host name. So this is what's going to be displayed on screen two. Okay, so we're taking the information and we're displaying it onto the second screen. All right. So we could just copy and paste. Should be a bit quicker. More efficient. Right. Copy. And. Let's just change that to Mac. And index that and then the host name. And somewhere around uh, this tutorial, I'm going to put uh, just a screenshot of the next tutorial coming up. Uh, I've sort of changed the background a little bit for the port scan results page okay and now we just add the host name as well okay that's fine let me just do a two and please make sure the indentation is okay before you try and run it Okay, that's that's not quite right yet. Right, and we need to indent all of this into the F. No, a bit more. Indentation it all. Yeah, so the short movie video thing coming up um, is me making my first hardware project, which is a lamp, which is quite interesting. Oh, I thought it was. Almost burnt the house down. Not really. Right, so we're running that, and our nodes pop up. We click the node, and we need to add a new line. So let's do that now. Nice and quickly. Just add a new line here and we should be all done. Right, let's run that again. And any function um, suggestions 
Okay, you're welcome. So that's it. Okay, that's all done. All the, all the information is perfect. All right, and this is more efficient. Okay, so brilliant. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you watch, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. The next tutorial will be coming fast and furiously. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.